Good evening. Welcome to the Foley Intermediate School fourth grade music program. We are very excited to perform this for you. The kids have been working very hard all fall. Uh, this program consists of songs, American songs um, throughout the different decades, um, starting with the 1920s. Um, and you're going to also hear from some historical figures as well. Um, just a couple reminders before we begin. Uh, please uh, re remember about removal of hats, um, keeping movement to a minimum, and if you need to leave the auditorium, to leave in between songs. Um, and also um, to turn off cell phones and other electronic devices that might make noise. Um, again, on behalf of myself, I'm Ms. Jody Martinson, and this is Ms. Carissa Darling, and Mr. Richard Thomas. We're very pleased to have you this evening, and we're very excited that these young people get to share their beautiful voices with you. Enjoy the program. Indeed, they were. A German conservationist 
and true patriot. Roosevelt became president at the start of a brand new century in the American of the United States. Do what you can with what you have where you are. By the time America was only 100 years old, it had already made its mark as one of the greatest nations in the history of civilization. Yet we only had 8,000 cars and 10 miles of paved road. The average worker made $12.98 a week. That's what it was about, said. I'm only at uh, week. The government is us. We are the government. You and I. That he said. Far and away, the best prize life has to offer is a chance to work hard at what you're doing. Then finally, he said, I'm only an average man, but my journey is harder than the average man. That was the character of 1901, America. As the world was turning into a new century, America was turning into a place where everybody wanted to be. Patriotism reached new highs in 1904. The place to be was St. Louis, Missouri, for the Louisiana Purchase Ex Exposition, more commonly known as World Fair.
an extra read all about it. October 29th, 1929, Black Tuesday, Wall Street crashes, Great Depression begins. For the next 12 years, America and the rest of the Western industrialized world suffered what has come to be known as the Great Depression. Dust Bowl, bank closures, a collapse in agriculture, and many other problems plagued the nation, and times were hard. America bent, but it did not break. President Franklin Roosevelt said, I pledge you, I pledge myself to a new deal for the American people. Not everybody. <coughs> Not everybody loved President Roosevelt's New Deal, but there was definitely a new feeling in the 1930s. America rolled up its sleeves and got to work, bringing happiness and satisfaction to help beats on the dance. Thank you. 
last, the long war was over in Europe and Asia. The men and women were coming home. Ironically, the war was actually a boost to the American economy and home for happy and driving things ahead made America a happy and happy place to be. Hello, baby. Welcome to 1959. Thanks for looking up. Boys and girls, World War II is over. The economy is bumping along. America is feeling good. So get your porter skirts, slip back your hair, get your daddy's keeper, because America's on a rock and roll. <laughs>
comes back to the real dream of both America's true voice.
to gain your strength, courage, and confidence by every experience which your greedy substance did fear in the face. Woodrow Wilson said, America lives in the heart of every man who wishes to find a region where he will be free to work out his destiny as he chooses. Before Woodrow said, this, thing, this country will not be good for any be a good place for any of us to live there, unless we may be in a good place for all of us to live there. As he stepped out onto the moon's surface, Neil Armstrong said, This is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And America indeed did take giant steps forward. Today, there is a new set of voices in this great land called America. We, who stand before you now, are the new American voices. As we grow and learn from those who have gone before us, we add our own voices to the chorus that make up the
Once again, we would like to thank you all so much. We'd like to thank you all so much for coming. It really means a lot to see a full packed house at our concert. We've worked really hard on this, and all of us have been so excited to get to share it. So it's been really wonderful to have this many people to share it with. Miss Darling is going to be walking our fourth graders out and down the hall to the right. They're going to be standing in front of a sign that says the name of their teachers. That's where we'll have you pick them up. We would ask that you stay in your seats while we walk all of our fourth graders out so we can have this. Once more, thank you so much for coming. It really means a lot. And let's get one more round of applause for our awesome.